Assalamu alaikum, everyone. Dobre vyachor. The chocolate hijabi is here with uh, another prayer request for the same person I had uh, everybody adding to their dua and their prayers before. My friend Anna in Texas, who uh, makes and sells hijabs when she's able to. But this time, I am asking that all of you pray for her as she has to fight a discrimination battle. She is now unemployed because after she had her surgery, her now former employer decided to cut her loose. And it is not just because of her health, it is because she is a Muslim. It is illegal under the Bill of Rights of the U.S. Constitution to discriminate against anyone based on religion in matters of housing, employment, access to other public services and in travel but that is exactly what is going on here her husband too was cut loose from his job some time back just because he's Muslim so now both of them are having to fight this. But Anna is facing it also because of her recurring health issues with uh, her cranial surgery and she is still having difficulties with that. And so the physical healing is still going on. That will take some time and it will take more doa, more prayers from uh, all of our brothers and sisters in Islam and in humanity. But the main thing is we as an Ummah need to step up and do something about this discrimination. She is going to bat not alone but she has legal counsel there with her in Texas who is helping her but she needs our help and our prayers and we need to step up and step out to stop discrimination just because of your religion we also need to continue to fight for the rights of the disabled. There are places in this country, even in my city, that are not accessible. Not only wheelchair accessible, but accessible for blind users, for deaf users. For instance, not every television is capable of subtitling or closed caption service. The newer TVs can do it, yes, but if someone has an older TV and wants to watch a program, they would have to purchase a separate box or some kind of service to do that. Not every House of Worship is accommodating to, for instance, deaf members. When I used to go to the Catholic Church, there was a signer only on special occasions, such as a priest ordination or other big uh, celebration where you would expect more diverse people to show up. 
Only then was a signer available. And not all houses of worship are accommodating to blind people. Those places that use music, for instance, do not always have the words to the songs or words to, for instance, selected scripture readings available in Braille. You have to excuse that little bit of fuzz. My cat just uh, jumped across my keyboard. But uh, anyway, going on. Fortunately, the small masjid that I go to is adapted for the physically disabled. Although there are steps to get up to the prayer room and down to the social hall, there is a step lift or a chair lift. And what this device is, it runs on its own rail and the user sits on it and pushes a button and the lift will go up and down to uh, either the top end and there's a separate lift to go down to the basement where the social hall is. But still to get down, for instance, into where the, the men's prayer area is, one has to step down a little step, but usually there are other brothers or sisters who may be available to do that or go through the where the sisters pray. But then you'd have to go around the partition, and that would mean stepping up and then stepping down again. But we provide chairs for those who cannot prostrate properly because of their disability or an injury. But uh, going on, uh, as I said, we as an Uma need to step out. We need to make sure that what Allah commands is no discrimination. It is not just about race or color anymore. I recently watched a video here on YouTube about the disabled in Egypt not having their needs met, not having accessible buildings or even slopes where the sidewalk meets the street where a person with a wheelchair could just roll or a person pushing a walker could just push the walker with ease or even someone who is pushing a stroller with a baby or a toddler in it would have to lift it up or tip it back. Not everybody has a wheelchair that can easily do that. Not everybody knows how to pop a wheelie. Not every place has ramps to get into buildings next to the steps or on another entrance. Or if they do, some people choose to block them. And in some places, even the school that is designed for disabled children is not getting the resources they need. So we need to stop this wherever we are. We need to push for the rights of the disabled and for the rights of people to practice their religion in peace and in tranquility. After all, that's what the early Muslims did when uh, they gave a safe haven to 